Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Baldur's Gate 3. Oh my god, we're finally out of the tutorial, and we can finally do what we want here. We're gonna be looting some dudes. Oh. Since you awoke on the ship, your mind has been cold and empty, but something stirs. With your hands close to this body, you know nothing of why, but you find a half smile flittering across your face. Oh, we're like a psychopath. Try to remember the last time you stood above a corpse. I have minus one to that, right? Let's try to remember. Doesn't seem like a high stakes roll. Fuck you. Oh, man. Damn. Oh, well. You see flashes of flesh all lumped together in a mass grave. No single image sticks out. There is something unknown and unspeakable deep within your heart. Hmm. Okay. Interesting. For now. Shadow Heart. Wake up, bitch. It's time to go. Reach for the artifact. Oh, is anybody lucky? Oh, she's awake. What are you doing? I was checking to see if you were alive. I'm alive, yes. Oh my god. My I'm fucking shoulder is so big. And speaking of, how are we alive? Mm, I don't know. I was hoping you might know. I remember the ship. I remember falling. Then nothing. Uh, you have any idea where we are? No, I don't recognize this place, but anything's an improvement on where we just came from. First True. things first, we need supplies, shelter, and most of all, a healer. We might have escaped, but we still have these little monsters in our heads. Uh, we, you want to stay together? We need each other. And we both know what's at stake. Can't think of better company. True. All right, let's get moving. One thing, just before we go. I wanted to thank you again for freeing me. It would have been all too easy for you to run right past my pod, but you didn't. I'll remember that. Cool. Lead the way. Sure will. Uh, real quick, let me go to the settings and audio. Everything's up at 100. Okay. I was concerned if I was too low. Uh, we actually can both level up here. Let's do that. Whenever you're ready. Okay. So I get a spell slot, I got Divine Smite, and I got a ton of spells. I also get to choose a fighting style. I am going to go Defense for the plus one armor class for armor. Or should I go Protection? When you have a shield, impose disadvantage on an attack against your allies. When you are within one and a half meters. Hmm... That's also interesting, but I think the defense, our defense, would be good. And then for now, I'm not going to go with that. Let me just take all these down. I'll take Healing Word. I will take Faith Shield. Shielding of Faith. Uh, Compel Duel. I'll take command, because that's cool. I guess I'll take less? No. Heroism should be good for the temporary hit points. 
Let's see what else. Take bless or divine favor. I'll take the bless. Yeah. We'll do that. That's fine. Sorry. Really thinking hard on that one. There is work to do. For you. We're just going to level you up straight. You should be okay. Prepared spells. Uh, both of those are pretty good. You can also cast... A I think those are... Perfect, actually. Oops. Ah, oh, damn it. I didn't hit confirm. I hit exit. Like an idiot. Quite the health boost on level up, too. Which is very much needed. These boots have seen everything. Still breathing. Let's zoom out a little bit. There's a backpack. Now, there's going to be a bunch of shit on this beach that we can find Might be useful. got some grass and some more importantly some uh fish should be around here this isn't marked but uh these buckets have some fish in them that's good for camping supplies fresh water there must be a settlement somewhere nearby uh can i pick up book sure dead fisherman again He's got a letter. I love letter. Now, are any of these barrels have anything in them? I can't remember. Oh, yep. Gold. What's inside? Are those thieves tools? Or a trap tool? Uh, huh. Thieves tools. Cool. Alrighty. That should be it in the area, except for this little, little weeds I can pick up. Oops, I'm trying to click that, make it go away. Okay, we pretty much got everything on this side. Let me loop around. And then as we're going there, there should be a fight up ahead. Alrighty. So we're gonna shift C. Did I ever give you? No, I did not. A ranged weapon. Uh, scimitar. It's fine. Odd floppy hat. No, thank you. Not needed. I'll keep all these things on me because uh, they're thrown weapons. So let's get up here in the high ground. Kind of make our way over to this side here so we can ambush these little guys. They've already taken damage, surprisingly. Oh, oh, he failed. Okay. Oh, it'll take them a while to get to us. We just get to see them run, 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 run. Uh, so there's that one. Got him. Seems fine. We'll end our turn there. And then can you hit him from here? You can. And then I think that's fine. Not really needing to use a lot of movement at the moment, but we will. Oh, we will. Okay. Get your melee out, sir. Now the... What do I have? Holy, Holy Rebuke. 
Uh, I can give myself heroism. It does cost a spell slot. And it's only 10 turns with concentration. I think I'm gonna command you. That's not... Okay. That's not at all what I wanted to do. It popped up a menu, but that's fine. Um, so you can probably... You can kill him, maybe, if you hit. Okay, cool. And I think he does actually have... He can get near us, so I'm just gonna push him off. Okay. Sometimes the only way out is through. I'm gonna try to push him off. <laughs> Thank you. Cool, so he takes the damage and then he's gotta crawl all the way up here again. Yep, he's gonna take that dash, so he's not gonna have an action to attack us. But he's gonna come right back up here. And then from there, you can hit him. Okay, and then I will also hit him. That's good, from that side. Okay, cool. Perhaps our survival is in such a distant prospect. Easy. We do want a bit of crowd control. I don't think these brains actually have anything on them. I think it's just these noblemen and there's a mind flare up here in a chest. With a bottle of poison, cool. Ooh, and a spiked bulb. Cool, and then I think there's one more thing left over here on this side. Yes, this mind player. He also has a bulb. Cool. So. Another intellect devourer. Got some crates over here that we're gonna go through. Thieves tools and a violin, it looked like. And then this is locked, but the cool thing about locked chests is that you can just fucking break them. And it still has the stuff inside. So it had a leather helmet and 12 gold. Which a lot of games, like don't do that really it's just like you can damage the items inside but i haven't seen that happen yet so we're gonna come over here i know there is a secret over here this is one of the few only meta game things that i know basically if you jump down here whoop, and you come over here and there's this big rock Okay, never mind. There's this big rock that we can move if we pass that nature check, but we'll come back later with someone else then. And it's got a little, uh, a little treasure chest underneath it. But we will find it later. If not, it's not that important. I need some help. Oh, he needs help. Something's on my mind. Hurry, I've got one of those brain things cornered. In the grass. You can kill it, can't you? Like you killed the others? Kill it yourself. You look capable enough. I was hoping for a kind soul. Well, not to worry. Oh, you are messing with the wrong motherfucker. So I got plus one to dex, plus three to strength. Push yourself to your feet. Please, oh, please, oh, please, oh, please, oh, please. Yes! Easy. Get the fuck off me. Boy. I saw you on the ship, strutting about whilst I was trapped in that pot. What did you and those tentacled freaks do to me? Uh, you have it backwards. They snatched me up too. Put the knife away. Maybe we can talk. I haven't done anything to you yet. Put the knife away. You'll talk. I can ah! Your mind twists. You're looking out of unfamiliar eyes, prowling dark, busy streets. You try to hold the memory, but it fades to the worm. The light. 
the fear. What was that? What's going on? Honestly, I have no idea. It's those tentacled monsters. Whatever they did, whatever they put in us, just created a connection. They took you too. I saw it during whatever just happened. And to think, I was ready to decorate the ground with your innards. <laughs> Apologies. Yeah, it wasn't gonna happen. Uh, can't blame you. I'm looking forward to seeing yours. <laughs> oh, I was looking forward to seeing yours. Uh, glad we see you all caught up. Um, apology accepted. Might have done the same uh -huh. if we reversed. A kindred spirit. My name's Astarian. I was in Baldur's Gate when those beasts snatched me. I'm in quite the state. Uh... Yeah, I'm Xanros. So, do you know anything about these worms? Unfortunately, yes. <laughs> I'll turn us into mind flares. <laughs> of course, it'll turn me into a monster. What else did I expect? Although, it hasn't happened yet. If we can find an expert, someone that can control these things, there might still be time. Oh, uh, you should travel with me. Our well, arts are better. I was ready to go this alone, but maybe sticking with the herd isn't such a bad idea. And you seem like a useful person to know. All right. I accept. Lead on. As he joins your side, your mind dances with thoughts of a perfect, pretty corpse. Jesus Christ, man. <laughs> His fucking eyes. Wow. Let's level you up to level two. I think he is he just a rogue or yeah, he is just a rogue. So he's going to get cunning actions for his shit, which is cool. All right. Let's move. I took two damage somewhere. I don't know where. Maybe what it was jumping off that cliff. What path lies before me? Oh, there's a piggy. Seems like a good moment. Hello, piggy. <laughs> hey guys, did I mention I'm evil? Oh, fucking great. Wait, where's... This feels good. Where's Shadowheart? Bitch, why are you over here? Okay. Now that everybody's here... Oh, that matters. Damn it. shit on oh and they're over here too that's cool come on can't stay idle Let's stay focused okay and then we got a ranged weapon from her missed awesome is he gonna attack me or run away he's gonna try Sneak attack adjacent ally. An ally is within melee distance of an enemy, allowing you to sneak attack it for more damage. Oh. Sneak attack melee, sneak attack ranged. Yo. Yeah, fucked, kid. Now, is that just like any time? It seems to be any fucking time. Oh my god. That's amazing. Let's take that pig head. More interesting times. Time to press ahead. Let's save the game. Now that we've got a bunch of shit going on. I have all my fucking characters. I have like five games going at the at the moment. Uh is it up here, I believe? Yeah. 
So, we got this event. A mind flare. Bound to be dangerous, even if injured. You approach the dying monster. This is the thing that abducted you. You could end its life here and now, if only you didn't feel compassion. Compassion. I should be furious. You feel hate, and you deserve to be punished for it. You should be whipped, made to bow before this creature in shame. It's possessing your mind, forcing you to love it. But then the feeling slips. Mm. The creature's mind seems to focus elsewhere. Oh God, intelligence roll. I have a minus one to this. No, dude, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. We got this. Easy. Easy. Perfect. Your mind's views, lusting for something that is gone. But then its grip claws back with a vengeance, a vice locking your mind. I'm having a mind battle. It needs sustenance to survive. And with your very body, you can provide. Uh, wisdom I just roll straight on, right? Looks like it. I got this. It's a five. There's no way. Thank you. Jesus fucking Christ. Every time it gives me anxiety. <laughs> the monster lies exhausted, defeated. Its eyes, wet orange pearls, radiate malice. So if you... Let's close those eyes forever. Get fucked, kid. Hell yeah. Monster. So if you fail that, you can't actually just straight up die. Like, he one-shots you. You're just like, yeah, you can have my brain. <laughs> so dumb. I thought there might be something down there. Ooh, some goblins. Worth checking for supplies, maybe. We got a backpack full of supplies. Gives us like 40 food. What's going on with that room? Looks unstable somehow. I touched it. Okay. Magic glitters and swirls from it erratically. Is it malfunctioning? It looks slightly dangerous. I'ma touch it. I'ma poke it. Boop. Ah. <laughs> A hand? Anyone? Is this a glory hole situation? Ignore the urge to main him, grab the hand and pull. Fantasize about hacking off the hand. Holy shit, slap the hand, who are you? Let's dab him up, bro. <laughs> I'ma uh, resist the urge and... Yeah, okay, we got it. We're gonna actually just pull him out. What's good, homie? Come on, keep pulling. Err. Yo, what's up, gal? Oh. Hello. I'm Gale of Waterdeep. Apologies. I'm usually better at this. Uh, no need to apologize. Are you all right? At introductions? Not wasting time passing a bit. Um, no apologies a bit needed. Shocked, but friend. It's a relief and a pleasure to make your acquaintance. Say, but I know you, don't I? In a manner of speaking. You were on the Norse Lloyd as well. Uh, yes, I was. And I can only assume you too were on the receiving end of a rather unwelcome insertion in the ocular region. Mm, go on. The we speak of, this parasite. Are you aware that after a period of ex- Ruciating gestation, it will turn us into mind flayers. 
It's a process known as ceramorphosis, and let me assure you, it is to be avoided. Okay. You don't happen to be a cleric by any chance, do you? I have one in my party. Doctor? No. Surgeon. No. Uncannily adroit with a knitting needle. Can't say so. I smack things. Condition to realize it's beyond most cleric skills. Most, no doubt. But I find myself hoping to be in the presence of the few. You don't happen to be one of them. Paladin. I can tend to basic wounds and ailments, but alien parasites, I'm afraid not. As we've established, few enough can. It's not exactly a common affliction. We're most certainly going to need a healer. And soon, too. How about we lend each other a helping hand once more and look for a healer together? Sounds like a plan, my man. Welcome along. Most excellent. A parasite shared is a parasite halved. Or something to that effect. Oh, but before you think you're about to embark on a journey with most ill-mannered a man, thank you for pulling me out of that stone. It was an act of foresighted kindness, I assure you. I have the feeling ample opportunities will present themselves for me to return the favor. All right, he's here too. Let's level him up. And we got a full party now. Uh, special. Oh, I can choose his subclass. Should we go Necromancer? Uh, learning Necromancer spells from scrolls cause. Ah. Once per turn, if you kill an enemy creature with a spell, kill a creature with a spell, you regain hit points equal to twice the spell slot level used thrice if it's a necromancy spell undead and conscious okay that's cool i think i'm gonna go necromancy for him then check out the spells here uh definitely want magic missile for sure a hundred thousand percent that's just straight broken uh huh in seven temporary hit points that's pretty cool. When you are about to get hit by an enemy, increase your armor class by five. You take no damage from magic missile. That's interesting. That's a reaction. Uh, burning hands would be pretty good. Burning hands is pretty fucking hype. Ice knife would be pretty good too. Is that, uh,. It explodes and leaves an ice surface. That'd be pretty good. I'm gonna take that. And we're gonna call it there. All right, cool. We've got one more party member to get around to. I think it's over here. No, it's up there. Right here is where we want to be. Zoru was right. Yellow as a toad, and twice as ugly. The thing's dangerous. Leave it for the goblins to kill. And if it escapes, how will you... Oh, a guest. Your skull pounds in response to the prisoner's white hot stare. So I'm going to play this. Lips don't move. Yet you hear her voice. Very interesting, because I have an objective with this encounter. Shoot the trap down, we must kill it before it harms someone. Okay. Dirty 20. Easy enough. Right. No one's safe if that thing goes loose. Not even us. Damaze. Enough. Lower the trap. Ready your blade. So I'm convincing him that we're gonna kill her. You've but one chance. Join me or die. And attack the tieflings. No! You lying rat! And now. Oof. 
Okay, Shadow Hearts on here. Let's go with. Uh, let's just go up and hit him, I guess. 55%. Hey, we got it. And then let's. Now let's get like over here. See if we can shove him that way. You fucked, get O. And I'm gonna get right here. Lizelle's gonna come. Absolutely just destroy the man. Uh, 65 there. I could ready and strike him. Get shit on. And I'm gonna get right behind her. Now I'm going to ranged attack, sneak attack. Ooh. Got her. Oh shit, she's still alive. Yikes. So let's go with... Do I not have a magic missile equipped it for some reason? Let's just fireball. Hey oh A spasm grips your chest. Your strength falters. An emptiness grows within you, Paladin. Something has been lost. You have broken your oath, Paladin. At the close of day, I will be waiting for you. We have much to discuss. Hell yeah, boy. Okay, sorry about that. My game crashed and I had to redo the fight and everything. The tadpole hasn't yet scrambled all your senses. Auspicious. But the longer we wait, the more it consumes. My people possess the cure for this infection. I must find a crash. You will join me. Careful. She obviously sees your kindness as weakness. Don't let her take advantage. I have no kindness. Oh, have you no? <laughs> uh, what exactly is a crash? It is many things. A hatchery, a training grounds, a shelter. Githyanki protocol is clear. When infected with a gay tadpole, we must report to Augustil for purification. Okay, fair enough. A simple thank you would you go amiss. Suggest a wyvern bow to worms. Gee, the she's full of herself. Suffices, thanks. Uh, all right, let's Do journey you together. Up. Dismiss your weakest warrior. Okay. Go back to my camp. Very well, Bitch. But heed my words. The horned ones mentioned a camp. One there, this Zoru, has seen Githyanki. A crash must be near. I must interrogate this Zoru. Our very lives depend on it. I will be at your camp. Do not keep me waiting. Cool. Uh, so we're actually gonna go to camp. Because we want to talk to the fucking cool guy. And he's right back here. So this is the only reason I want to wanted to kill those people is because I wanted to break my oath and become an oath breaker. I have been waiting for you. I felt the moment of your liberation. The shedding of your bond. You called to me. I am here to show you the way. Uh, the way to what? A journey with no end, trodden only by the desperate and the damned. It is a path I have walked since the moment I fell. Now, you will walk it too, Oathbreaker. You swore to defend the defenseless, to stand as an emblem for all that is good and just in this world. Did you thought, Lamau? 
Why did you abandon your oath? Uh, I'm a poor paladin. My mind is shattered and cruelty is within. Ooh, that's a cool choice. Uh, yeah, we're going to go with that one. Cruelty need not conflict with purpose. And a shattered mind may yet uphold an oath. But you have fallen. And it seems you do not fully comprehend the reason why. Take comfort in your undoing. I, like you, abandoned my cause. But much can still be achieved. Your oath is broken. The light within you fades. A new power is awakening. Tell me more about these powers. Darkness will obey your summons. The dead will march to your rhythm. Even now, these shadows gather around you. They sense the cracks in your armor. They yearn to be used, to be inflicted. There isn't a way to re isn't there a way to reclaim my oath? What oath did you swear? I served a noble lord. I fought for him without question or restraint. Where his light shone, my sword followed. In his name, I raised villages, put thousands to the sword. I believed our greater purpose required such brutality, such sacrifice. But his light was so radiant, it blinded me to all else. I could not see the darkness and corruption of the path he led me down. When I finally saw the truth, he would not be reasoned with. So, I ended him. <laughs> My guy's just like, okay, cool. I was called Oathbreaker. That was a brave decision. It couldn't have been easy murdering your own lord. No wonder you were an outcast. Did you know what it meant to break your oath like that? I knew the consequences would be worse for those he continued to harm. What's past is past. We are here to discuss your future. What did you achieve after abandoning your oath? I wielded the powers of darkness, yet held a candle for those who needed the light. My actions followed no teaching, apart from my own justification. Good or ill, I made my choices. Eventually, I heard the call of others who had strayed. I showed them the way. As I show you now. I am ready to become an Oathbreaker. Do not resist. Surrender and be remade. Though born of a vile source, these powers can be used for good or ill. Your oath no longer binds you. The choice is yours alone. Ayo! Let's fucking go. Broke my oath. And I get spiteful suffering. 1d4 uh, necrotic damage. Target takes 1d4 necrotic damage each turn, and attack rolls against it have advantage. Ooh, that's so fucking good. Now, I just have that, right? I don't have to actually do anything with it. Cool. 
All right. Oath, oath, oath broken. Uh, let's take a short rest. Let's call it there for today. We finally broke our oath. We're going to be continuing along with the little tutorial island. Well, not tutorial, but the, the first little section here, which uh, I'm pretty sure in the next episode, we'll get to the part where I don't know anything anymore. <laughs> so until then, we're just going to be doing some encounters and whatnot, but I'll see you in the next one.